Can your budgie or small parrot be friends with a larger parrot? Sure, but does it always work out? Can't say, right? Hey guys, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrot Plus Bond, the new book, Get to Know African Grey and Cape Parrots. And I am thinking, I'm officially gonna say, I've released Feathered Splendor, a photo book with lots of pictures of like over 30 species of parrots, something crazy like that, all available on Amazon. If you have a small parrot, like a budgie, could it befriend a bigger parrot? You know, that's kind of a tricky question because it's like a David and Goliath kind of thing. I mean, the truth is we're Goliaths relative to our parrots. Look at how much smaller Macy, my Cape parrot is than I am. So when it comes to parrots, one of the things that happens is they aren't the same as we are in the sense that my intent is to have Macy as a pet, as a companion, and it's to take care of her. I don't plan on hurting her in any way, shape, or form. But if she had a little budgie or a little parrotlet, would that hold true? It depends. You know, one of the problems is it tends to depend on your parrot's personality. Generally speaking, though, we can say that, for example, with rare exceptions, green chiconiers tend to be aggressive with budgies or other small parrots. So I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't necessarily try it either because one of the ways you find out is when that smaller parrot gets injured or hurt. And there are some phenomenal little parrots like budgies and cockatiels who just are so loving and so pacifistic, if that makes sense, that they don't really do a good job of defending themselves if they even try. So it can be kind of sad when you have a very sweet parrot like a budgie who next to most other parrots isn't going to stand up very well for themselves. Flying around a room that's open where they can get away, that's one thing. The minute though they're reliant upon that bigger bird for their social connection, well, that gets more complicated. The minute they're in a cage with a bigger bird like that, that could probably get to be problematic and dangerous for that smaller parrot. So would I mix something like a golden conure even? Because they're not too bad. They're pretty sweet. With a budgie? No, I wouldn't try. Again, it's just they're too different. See, one of the other things that happens is that the bigger bird will go to preen the smaller bird and they don't realize, they don't have the thinking capacity that's analytical like we do to stop and say, oh, this bird is much smaller. He or she is my friend, but I need to preen them more gently. They don't think that way. They just preen because they're made to preen each other, as in preen one of their same species. So they don't make that adjustment for a smaller parrot. That's not to say that there aren't some exceptions at the, and that there aren't some small birds who are very bonded to a larger bird and it works out. It's just to say that if you're choosing birds, that's probably not a good choice because you won't find out until your smaller parrot is hurt and that's probably not what you want. Thanks for joining me in this blissful video. If you want some awesome parrot merch, please be sure to visit shop.parrotbliss.com. Be sure to give Macy and I one of these and comment below. It helps my juice. I will catch you in the next feathered video.